the Wii, and GameCube, both are consoles with thrilling games that you might have owned while growing up. Even though it's been two decades since both consoles came out, they still have tons of fans that either own them physically and play them often, or play their games on an emulator. In terms of the latter, Dolphin is the most popular Wii and GameCube emulator because of how easy it is to set up and how much you can tweak things in the settings to your liking. There's an unofficial Dolphin VR port made in 2016 that I personally enjoyed playing on my Meta Quest, but now that I own a Vision Pro, I wanted to try it out on there to see if it's a better experience. And so, here it is! I'm playing my favorite GameCube and Wii games and I'm actually inside of the world! To play, I'm using ALVR, a remote desktop app on the Vision Pro that lets me stream PC VR to my headset. Alongside that, I'm using an Xbox controller to move the character around and access menus. Compared to my last video about ALVR, image quality has improved quite a bit, and it means I can play a game like Super Mario Sunshine and it'll look crisp around me. And that's also thanks to the almost 4K displays in this headset. That's another great thing about Dolphin. You can upscale the internal resolution and bump everything up to 5K, and there definitely is a clear difference. I also think it's cool that you can still see your hands and your entire arms while playing, so you can reach out to the world around you, which is fun. Of course, you can disable your hands in the ALVR settings if it becomes too distracting, but I personally keep it on since it makes the dark void less scary when playing. In terms of issues with Dolphin VR in general, not all Wii and GameCube games work well in VR, and you usually need to change a variety of settings to get them to work properly. Motion sickness is also an issue, even for someone like me who's used VR since 2016. I felt this the most in Metroid Prime, a first person game that made me feel a bit queasy after playing for a bit. Thankfully, there are settings in Dolphin VR to reduce motion sickness. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below, and make sure to subscribe for more content like this one. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and take care!